Nice to have your company on this edition of Racing to Win. Let's have a look at race four, Happy Valley, Wednesday evening. And it's our feature of the night, the Hong Kong Rugby Union Cup. So there's no excuse for you two New Zealanders <laughs> over there to not tip the winner here. And we start off with Nitro Express, who ran a good race last start third. Nabu Star looks close to a win. Mr Monty was average last outing, but he was slow to get going. First time over the trip for Shining On. Mr Darth Vega is one we'll touch on shortly. The full bloom's going to struggle to run the trip, as he always has done. Yi Chong Pegasus, on the other hand, might like getting up to the longer trip. Love Chung Wah down the bottom, a point away from a drop in class. The Boo Star and the Full Bloom have been up at Chun Far in the last 30 days. How do we see the feature unfolding early? Yeah, there's a few horses that like to go forward here. Mr. Monty, Polymer, Luck and Curling Luxury are the, the three key runners that will be keeping an eye on to see what they do at the, at the start. I think Mr. Monty from uh, his barrier draw of 11 will try and cross them here. You've got Shining On and uh, Love Chung Wah. They could be caught wide, but uh, Nabu Star from gate number seven. Is that Kurt? Hopefully you can get him into a perfect spot. It's an amazing chocolate on the inside. Mr. Darfaga, he blew the start last time, so he had clear excuses the first time up to 1650. Prior to that, he'd been running pretty well, this horse. I think he's not far away from a win, and his track work suggests that goes nicely. Association fans, uh, look, he, we know he plays up uh, in the mornings and, and on race day, but he's under his best behaviour here, but he's under a decent hold. He's quite keen in, the, in his work, but going nicely enough as well, just wants to get on with it. And uh, Love Chung Wah, he uh, pops up occasionally, this horse. He's been running a few fifths and sixths recently. And uh, he's a very fit horse coming into his ninth run this season. So another one that goes nicely enough. All right, uh, feature race. Uh, let's start at uh, probably the likely favourite in the race, Nabu Star. Mr Monty ran OK here. Love Chung Wah closed off. And Curling Luxury is a horse of note to generally be on the pace. He'd cover plenty of ground too, did to Nabu Star last start because he was four wide with no cover racing off the back straight, but he was uh, closing over the, the final stages pretty well. Second in a, a trial at Chung Fa behind his stable mate, uh, Rivet. I thought he attacked the line pretty well here. Yeah, I think he's going to be right in the finish this horse. I just wonder if 1800 is going to be his ideal distance at mm. time because he does take a little while to wind mm. up. Yeah, it's a fair point. Yi Chong Pegasus, um, guilty of putting him in the tips last start, as I think you did too as well, Paul, and I think the longer trip might be what he's looking for, actually. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I thought he'd run well on this occasion. He didn't run too badly, finishing fourth and behind. He stayed on nicely enough. The 1650, he looks ideal for him. Uh, he's by Lonro at a flying spur uh, mare. So from barrier two, mm. I think he'll run well once again. So I haven't given up on him. Quite a few actually made it difficult to find ground in that race. Mm. Yeah, he's on the backup as well. So we'll see how the seven days works for him. All right, let's move on to Mr Darth Vega. Now, he's had two trials since his last start. Going to focus in on the one where he finished third behind the champ. Yeah, the, the, the key with him was he, he missed the start. So they've given him plenty of education to get him out and about. He's got um, Joe Marrera jumping aboard. And he was hard held, I thought, in this particular trial. Uh, behind a couple of decent sorts. <laughs> so a tough couple of decent sorts there. Is that Eagle Way running yep. in? Yeah. As well, along with Beauty winning. Generation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ratten as well. Yeah. yeah, so and Ratten's come out and won. So I thought it was a really good try. I think it'll be hard to beat, actually. That trial was definitely yeah. better than his most recent trial. I didn't think his most recent yeah. trial was that great. Mm. Just a little quiet one, I think. Mm. That one was the one to go off, I reckon. Um, all right, so it sounds like Mr Darth Vega's on top for Paul. Yeah, to beat the favourite, the Boo Star, I've got... Um, I think Mr Darth Vader will come up a better price than the Boo Star, so I'm going to make him the best. I think at around $4 or 3 to 1, I think he's a, not a bad bet at that price. Yi Chong Pegasus, up and trip's going to suit him. And Nitro Express will add some value to him as well. He's quite well rated now, and uh, I think Class 4 is, is his go. So it's 5 2 10, 1 for me. I like the five. On top for me is Nabu Star. He's at 3.4 at the moment, so he's at a nice enough price, but I think that will come in a little bit around Nabu Star. I think Curling Luxury can be a player here. Um, beat home, uh, beaten by Royal Racer last start. Rule the Roosters come through that and was second and has won again, so form OK around Curling Luxury. Mr Darth Vega and Nitro Express, he's won off a mark of 70 before. He's right down on 57 now, so he's below his best at the moment. 2, 7, 5 and 1. Similar numbers for me. I'm going to throw an association fans off that piece of work that Paul put in. He's um, a horse that generally goes around at a bit of value, so he'll be my value runner for the night.